Welcome back, everybody! We are continuing with the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild kind of uh, story playthrough. We are currently on uh, the Divine Beast Camel. I think it's uh, Va Naboris, maybe? Something like that? We have, uh, in the last episode here, we got the... What was it? The Thunder Helm? Is that, is that what that thing's called? Here, hang on. Is that... Uh, Yep, yeah, doesn't doesn't look like that's necessarily something we can just wear. Maybe it's a uh, like a quest item or something over here. Nope. Oh, here we go. Can I wear it? Nope, it won't even let me wear it. All right. Well, we got that thing, and that is somehow going to help us actually weather some lightning or something that is on. The uh, divine beast that you can see kind of roaming around over there in the in the sand. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, check out the uh, prior episode for us dealing with the uh, Yiga clan and uh, figuring out how to get into this town at all. So with that, let's go ahead and switch into our sneaky attire, a.k.a. Women's clothing. Here we go. A lovely Gerudo top. Standard Gerudo garb, popular for its open, breathable design and for the traditional Gerudo markings that adorn it. All right. See? Elegance. Absolute elegance. Now, we have got the... Um, we've got the, the quest item here, so we can go back and talk to their their boss um oops got off of uh there we go couldn't get my other little joystick thing to work you know i haven't looked much at these shops here i should maybe at least consider investigating them before i leave oh, there's a hotel a bunch of meat seared prime steak Seared gourmet steak. Hmm. All right, so it's just hearts up though. Highest quality raw meat, raw gourmet meat, just kissed by an open flame. No additional seasonings. Hmm. All right, that wasn't even that many hearts, frankly. Ooh, arrows. Here we go. I've got uh, 19 regular arrows in inventory. Just one fire arrow. Hmm. 45 ice arrows. Wow. Shock arrows, I'm just at five. Oh, I just ran into that kid. I am so sorry. And no bomb arrows. Boy, six, 600 rupees for one bundle of 20 bomb arrows. Man. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll investigate later. Let's see what the next part of this quest is here. Uh, what happened? Was she out here and I missed her? Did I walk right past her? No. Just have to talk to this lady, maybe? If you're looking for Lady Riju, she's on the second floor. Normally people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters, but she's given you permission, it seems. Be in your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance to her, it will not end well for you. Noted. Um. All right, so we're going up this way. Here we go. Hello there. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. No, oh, you needn't say a word. Link is, Link is historically, you know, notoriously silent, so that's good. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. Mm. People look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to prove to myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. 
Yes, your arrival in the midst of all this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. Now, please give me the helm. Whoa! Uh, how do I look? <laughs> uh, you, you look great. <laughs> you think those, like, diamonds are... Actually have, like, some viewing ability? Oh, we got a memory here. Hmm. Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. <laughs> She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. Hmm. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. Hmm. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... <gasps> Urbusa! What was that? What? Did you feel that? Wait, what? what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? Why would you wake her up with lightning? Herbosa was not cool. Not cool. Huh? What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How is it? Do I look alright? Uh, yeah, it looks great. I see. The threat divine beast Von Naboris poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Who would have thought that just before such a monumentous battle... Hearing a simple, confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease. I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. There's only one way to get close to Naboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. The lookout post isn't far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. Hmm, okay. I'll be there waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. <laughs> okay. Still, it really is a little big. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the helmet thing's a little large, so what? I want to point out, if you've noticed any of the, like, uh, the, the stuttering or, like, just a little bit of graphical non-smoothness, uh... Yeah, that, that's, that's absolutely happening. I mean, the Switch, it's an incredible piece of software, particularly when you play all of this in, like, uh, in handheld mode, which is what 
I'm most impressed by being able to just play this game in like a little, you know, whatever size screen it is, uh, you know, in a handheld format form rather. But, you know, it's 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 chugging a little bit in uh, some of these bigger areas. So it's no PlayStation 5 or anything, but uh, you know, it's not terrible. All right, we got wheat available, we got rice, we got rock salt. Excuse me, kids, sorry. We got some shrooms. I'm selling the shrooms up in here, my goodness. Um... Oh, we got some clothes. Gerudo top. Oh, I've already, I've already got these. All right. Now, is there... place that I can do some cooking. Is there anything? I'm just looking for a uh, tempted to go down there and smash all those crates. But I'm just looking for a, uh, a, a lit cooking area. Hang on. So if we're jumping right into this, let me sort. Yeah, I could use some, like, lightning. Yeah, here we go. It will offer protection against electricity. I only have one of those. Oof. Um, full recovery... Simmered fruit, steamed vegetables. Okay, so I've got a few. I've got a few. Uh, I would like to do a little bit more cooking before I go face Ganon here. But if no one, if no one in this whole place has a place that I can just cook some food, hello, everyone. Not interested in rumors. I'm just I'm I'm looking for food. You know, a quick way to exit the city would always just be to take my mask off. <laughs> I think I'd get thrown out pretty quickly. Well, we will go. We'll we'll go. Um, make it. You know, so we can get on the on Naboris. And then we can warp out and do some, uh, do some capturing if need be. Where is the person who normally rents me these things? Where is this lady? Am I just here at the wrong, wrong time of day? Whoops. Maybe I could sneak up on one. End up riding it free of charge, maybe. Oh, shoot. Do I have to go inside for this? So there was definitely a person standing there. Maybe maybe that person moved inside once I got the... Uh, the outfit. So I think I saw some sand seals over here. Yeah. Please see the front desk for all inquiries regarding the renting of seals. Where is the front desk? Hmm, is this it? What's this? Sledgehammer, scimitar. And if I've got, yeah, I've got, I'm full up. Is this the front desk? Yeah, 20, 20 rupees. If you are hoping to cross the vast Gerudo Desert, sand seal surfing is the way to do it. It's only 20 rupees to read to rent one. Need a shield too, just play 50. Oh man. Sand seal sealiously. <laughs> that is awesome. Let's seal the deal. Oh my gosh. Do I uh, so I have to surf behind it? And then seal you later. Oh my gosh. How do I set seal? <laughs> I wonder if it's just a thing outside Gerudo Town. 
Um, okay, I think I need to pick a shield. I don't- I better not be on, like, one of my good shields. I totally am. No, wait. That was a bad, bad seal. We'll go... Oh, boy. Yeah, okay, it's only 18. Yeah, alright. We're doing it on a- on a guardian shield here. Best use of guardian shields ever. This is where I'm supposed to go, right? Yeah, okay, this place right up here. What a good sand seal. My goodness. You ever seen the movie Tremors? Is that what it was called? Yeah, Tremors. Like, it had like, I think the first one had Kevin Bacon in it maybe? And uh, Reba McIntyre? Is that right? Country singer? Um, yeah, yeah, you can, you slow down. Yeah, you wait right there. Um, they called them Graboids and they had these subterranean mouth monsters that just ate everything. It was, it was kind of an intense movie, I'm not gonna lie. I was scared of dirt for a while there for a while, you know, it, it happens. A golden bow. Hmm, yeah, that's not... That was not that great. Ooh. I'm shocked. Despite what the chief has said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. <laughs> but the chief must have her reasons for believing you can fight the divine beast. She's waiting for you at the top of the lookout post. Hurry. Okay. Everybody being like, you know, a little bit judgy of me for being short. It's fine. Oh gosh. Oh boy. All right. Let's see if we can. Nope. All right. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> took the took the wrong ladder. It seems. Hup. Keep jumping. There you go. Now recoup and jump. I don't know how comfortable I would be just standing on this little wooden plank up here. I don't know. What a sight. Divine Beast Va Naboris is pretty intimidating. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. You got bomb arrows for me? Naboris uh, draws energy from the ground to keep it moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though, getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm. <laughs> Great. But it can also shield a limited area around me. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. Hmm. And listen, uh, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. There we go. There aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. 20 bomb arrows. That's 600 rupees right there. Absolutely. This is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I need to arm those bomb arrows, though. Could you give me a bit of room just for a moment? My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast, Va Naboris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. The sand seals are remarkably calm. Remarkably calm through that little endeavor. Oh. oh, wow. I can feel their power coursing through me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's move. I like her. Lady Erbosa, please grant Link and me your protection. All right, we gotta get Over here. these arrows armed. Yeah, 
equip and Whoa, 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 whoa. I always love the escort quests. You know, you gotta stay so close to something or somebody for something. These are the best types of game design. <laughs> I kid, of course, this is terrible. Her sand seal, Patricia, seems to be a lot faster than my sand seal. about dashing, I just need you to go a little bit faster. There we go, all right. We're in a half decent sort of pace here. Oh gosh. I'm not comfortable being this close to the edge. It's also just a little bit unnerving not being able to see where we're going. digging the music if you ever get a chance oh my gosh it's a bad Naboris bad if you ever get a chance be sure to watch uh is it like S Sinbad the Barbarian or something like that like this old stop motion stuff it is an old movie well old series I think We gotta get, oh uh, no. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for, you know, coming back to me here. That's great. Um, so the, the music and everything here just makes me think of Sinbad for some reason. The old, old Sinbad. And I'm not talking about the comedian. I feel like maybe she's, you know, kind of trying to just, like, she has the ability to kind of set speed. And I totally appreciate that she came back to me after that little incident we just had there. Get in there. Oh gosh, wow, that one was close. Come with me. Oh, <laughs> I, I hurt myself right there, not great. Oh boy. Come on, we gotta hurry. Oh no, get back there. Oh gosh, yeah, I'm trying. Half, three quarters of a heart here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, we're too close. Oh boy. No. Oh gosh. Oh wow, okay. So if you just hop off the sand seal, she's just like, no problem. Oh, My sand seal's all like, bro. Right? Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, now. Nice. Come on, lady. Look out. What a pain this is. Let's get out there. Let's do this. Sprint. What? Whew, okay. Whoop. System system reboot. Oh, 
look out. Yikes. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Yep. We're good. I mean, I might, you don't know, boy, okay, that, that probably, I, I made that more challenging than it needed to be. It was clear that she would match my speed, you know, me darting ahead to get close to those legs when I needed to. She was, oh wow, I got a guardian like right in front of me. Travel gate registered to map. Perfect. Now we can warp around here. Well, well, well. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Noboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Hmm. Okay. Head over to that guidance stone. Sounds easy, right? <sighs> Based on the way that you say it, I don't think it's going to be easy. Um. So I can just warp here, right? Yeah, I'm totally. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like. Just quick. Bust back home, take a quick nap, maybe cook a little bit. I'll be right back. <laughs> I got, I got things to do. I got things to do. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta take care of myself before I deal with Naboris, you know. Plus, this will give a little bit longer for um, Mipha's Grace to recharge since that got triggered with. Was it the the clan? I feel like it was the uh, the Yiga clan that triggered that last. Oh yeah, yeah. Mipha's Grace will be back in plenty of time for the fight with uh, fight with uh, Ganon. I seem to recall the Ganon that is on this beast being particularly challenging. I don't recall. We'll just sleep until morning. We're gonna we're gonna deal with this quick a quick nap. I think it was eleven fifty five p.m. here when we went to sleep. A little bit of a nap. Nap. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> Imagine like the neighbors. So if you just show up back at your house in your small town, completely dressed in drag, you know, you think you think the neighbors are gonna talk or anything? I mean. Honestly, Bolson there. Bolson is definitely, he, he's into it. Um, let's see here. So I needed to make, I at least wanted to do with my zap shroom here. Um, when used in cooking, it will offer protection against electricity. So we're gonna hold that. And then what, what can we, can we do that with some, some, Monster parts to make some elixirs or something. Yeah, Lazolfo's Talon, a Fang. Let's try. Let's try the Talon. I want this to be good. Let's try. Let's just go ahead and do all of it. Skip that. What do we get? Dubious food. Oh no! <laughs> all right. Shoot. Well, let's see here. We can do, we'll hold, 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 hold. This should give us some 
health up stuff. Yeah, mighty simmered fruit along with attack up. We can do resistance against the electricity. Here we go. So hold, hold, and hold. You know what? Let's do all three. And then we'll do, we, we just need to do something else. Big hearty rash, radish that will increase your maximum hearts. See, what I'm not sure about is if you can have one dish that has multiple stamina effects. Hmm. Increase uh, more electricity stuff. Oh gosh, I had I had a few things with electricity here. 100% of this dish should be like electricity proofing myself. Yeah, 12 minutes, electro steamed fruit. Oh man, there you go. Mid-level electricity stuff. So we'll hold, hold, and then we'll go over here and we'll do more of that. Electric, uh, electricity resistance once again. That should be plenty, I would think. I mean, I can't imagine the fight with Ganon's gonna be, you know, 12 minutes long or anything like that. Oh, just steamed fruit, what? Boy, I don't know. I don't know. How did we not get the benefit of this stuff here? Hold, hold, hold. Maybe we could do that with some fish? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just try this with some raw prime meat. Come on, I need the electricity. There we go. Well, just, just one. Grants low level electricity resistance. Oof. All right. Well, anyway, we've got some stuff here. So let's go ahead and get back out here. Okay. <laughs> you just imagine like, you know, the princess like sees, or not the princess, but the Garuda. Yeah, I mean a princess, whatever she is. Chief. She sees you off. You're going to fight Naboris, and then, you know, you just suddenly show up behind her, like, two days later, like, oh, yeah, I should really get to that. Uh, you know, <laughs> kind of just stretching. Like, man, I took a nap. Went and worked on Terrytown for a while. I had a lot going on. It's been busy. I have been busy, okay? Now, let's make sure. I'm, I'm not worried about looking pretty. Although, you know... He can do it. Barbarian leg wrappings? Where did we get those? These leg wraps were favored by a warlike tribe from the Farron region long ago. They're adorned with traditional markings. I had not seen that I got those. Wow, that is a barbarian outfit if I've ever seen one right there. Um, okay, so how about we got a shield that we were just cruising around on. I just want regular arrows. I'm good with that bow. It's a good bow. Yeah, okay. This thing's almost gone anyway. Ah, oh, I've been carrying a torch around with me. Are you serious? That's disappointing. All right, well, I got plenty of these big old honking swords. And we got somebody who's interested in our location right up here. Hello there. Good to see you with your spear. Man, yeah, we got, we just got attack, attack power up all over the place here. Let's just drop that torch. We'll take the guardian spear. Mm. Well, actually. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I could just go stab that thing. It wasn't, it wasn't like launching you know, horse heads or anything at me right there, so. Whatever. Um. Hmm. Is it up there that I'm going? Oh boy, this is, this is concerning. I feel like it was at the end of one of these where I'm supposed to be going. Oh boy, there's there's the boss battle chamber thing right there. So is it over there? Yeah, it must be over there. 
Okay. I should probably have also used my last Ravali's Gale so it, they could be recharging, but... Oh well. Sheikah Slate Authenticated Distilling Map of Divine Beast. <sighs> what do we have? Boy, okay. Divine Beast controls have been enabled. Well, all right. I would have liked to have looked at that a little bit more. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Nabortis are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Nabortis back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So is there anything else we can do in here? Um, wait, so is there one just right in there? Let's see here that, whoops, wrong button. I did not want to take a capture. Here we go. So we can rotate, no, other 90 degrees. Well, that actually, no, we went too far. Went too far, dang it. Ah. But is there like a gate or something that prevents me from getting into it? Oh, wait a second. Unsettling, unsettling beast noises. Cool. Always love those. Get up there. Oh my gosh. Link, you quitter. Yeah, that is actually, man. That is actually where we need it to be, but we need a way to get up there. Is that a crumbling? Is that just something we can destroy? Uh, I mean, I think that it is. Let's try. We're gonna throw it. Oh, jeez, that's embarrassing. All right, that was a good. That was a good throw, Link. Let's try this again, and then we'll throw and detonate. Hey, all right. So, we still need... I can't just climb this, can I? No, I have a game where my main character is famously able to climb almost everything and he can't climb anything. Cool. Super cool. Love it. Love it when that happens. Um, let's try... Uh... Let's take this one. So what does this even do for me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I did not expect it to go this far. Thank you. These things sound so sad when they're like, you know, moving. Oh, hello there. Excuse me. I mean, I didn't I didn't ask for this fight, but I'm not going to be the one to turn it down. There we go. One one leaping hit from my flaming sword. <laughs> Ancient battle axe. That is going to be better than something. Yeah, battle axe, it's at least 30, so we can probably go... Oh, wow, no, I mean, there's... We got a lot of good stuff here. Um, so, let's see. Did this allow me to get to where I needed to? No, it's the other side. Well, actually, here, hang on. I think that allowed me to get up here. Yep. Which doesn't help me for some reason just yet. Hmm. Okay. 
You do, however, have this. Is oh gosh, and another and another bad guy over there. Is there? Mipha's race is ready. Awesome. Thanks, Mipha. Appreciate it. Um. Oh boy, that thing is up above me here. So hang on. What what can I do? To use this. to get yeah here we go well but how am I going to push myself up there and the point okay so this is just upside down so here hang on <laughs> boy okay so the one on the ground there we'll go 90 de we'll go 180 degrees This is going to be helpful, but we'll see. Oh boy, you, f you fell off like a hooligan. Dang it! I did not. I did not want that. But did that give us access? I, don't know, I lost the thing again. Where is it? Uh, I don't know where it went. Well, here, hang on. Oh, so you can choose to move it different directions. I just wasn't doing it well for some reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. All right. I, uh, I cheesed that. I cheesed that pretty hard. But that got me to where I need to be to get into this one. Again, goopy slime sound. Um, so here, let's see now if we can move this. No. How was it that I switched it last time? Is that what I want? So if that's up there, then yes, that will do it. Rotate. Oh, 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 examine. Whew, we got there. All right. Mid, mid transition. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. I'm trying. I'm doing I'm doing a lot of stuff wrong, believe me. I barely know where I am. Oh gosh, all right. Ah. Okay, so the thing was upside down anyway. Um, not exactly what I had hoped. But I mean, something nonetheless. And then this should allow me to escape through the side once again. Perfect. Now, as for how to get up to the one that's up there, I don't know just yet. And to get to this third one, I don't have the ability to get in there just yet, it doesn't seem. So here, let's take that one down one and see what it looks like. Hello there. Poor, poor Nabooras. Um, I recall that there's something with the green lines in the floor that they make a circuit, but I don't know what that will do. And at this point, I think that I need to just focus on getting over there and what I can do to get out, to, to safely get out through that opening. Maybe right there. Maybe I can 
spin this, ride this, jump off of that ledge above me. Well, now it'll be it'll be pointing the wrong way. Hang on, let me just let me just check something. Pointing the wrong way, but may have. Well, I already killed that thing. Okay, so I already. I've, I've been out there. Wrecking souls. But where is this. Point. That I know to be here above me. Or near me, anyway. How, how am I supposed to. Alright, well, if that's locked... Here, hang on. Let's just see what lining these up opens. Because this is going to complete the... Uh, the circuit along the bottom of the floor here. Is that going to open that gate? No. I feel like I heard something open, though. Don't know exactly what. Oh, up there maybe. Okay, so yeah, so there is one above me, and there is also one below me that is like on the other side of this. Right there. So how am I gonna make it so I can get on top of that? So as this starts to lift, it's gonna push me off. I'm gonna slide down this way. Got it. This should work. Okay. That's where I need to be. Is it like turned on or whatever? Does this actually do it for me? It's not glowing or anything. Oh yeah, okay. So once I get close, it starts to glow. Good. There are three terminals remaining. Hang in there. I'm trying. I am trying, but it looks like at this point I need to get up. Um. How am I going to go about doing that? That is also an intriguing shape arrangement over there. Boy, I might be able to glide to that. So hang on, if I spin it, it'll spin down. Yeah. We'll, tr we'll try it. Well, no, that's not going to do it. I'm going to try it from right here. Oh. You guys going to make me go with the old... The old stasis aeromagnesis? I mean, I'll do it. Maybe not. No, no, okay. Wouldn't. Yeah, alright. That was definitely the solution. I just couldn't. Uh... Alright, well, my fault. I didn't think my arrows had broken the rope, I guess. But either way, I'm a dummy. And it's okay. I am comfortable being a dummy. Now, let's see. What part? Oh no, it's only this that moves, huh? So where are my ladders that might help me? No, I mean by golly. Okay. That was completely accidental. I thought these things along the wall were going to move and I was trying to figure out how I could get 
to the backside of the one down there. But yes. all right, that ended up a little bit uh, more straightforward than I had envisioned. This is a circuit. I don't... I don't know. Um... The power is definitely not, you know, flowing here. So maybe if we get these two aligned... Then we can use some magnets to connect some stuff here. I feel like I hear things move there. And I feel like this should just, it should just look different. Like these things not being glowing. Oh, what is Oh, all right. Just looking, looking straight up, standing on like the edge of something that's moving nonetheless. That is nausea. Hmm. All right. Well, this just doesn't seem to do anything yet. I must have to start. Well, I still got to get up to the top. Hang on. Is there a way? Or if if not up to the top, up higher. Oh. Great. That all that all looks fun. That all looks fun and pleasurable. I have not seen a... So what's going to be my route? To get up there. I mean, does this do anything? No. I also haven't managed to get out there yet. And I, you know, if it's just a... If it is just a... Uh, Just a treasure chest? I don't really care. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Little push. Little push is all we needed. Ah, oh, yeah, see. So that's all it was. It was just the treasure chest. Ancient spring. Great. Uh, and it is a metal box, so maybe I can use it somehow. But more likely what I'm going to do is end up... What is going to get me up high enough? And how am I going to open those doors? So is there something else? Oh, oh, oh. I've got, I've got to... I've got to put these all along the top, don't I? Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. This, this thing being green but doing nothing... That just it just doesn't make sense. It, just, it does not compute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it spinning? Is that what's happening here? Let's see. Oh my! And it and it opened that thing. Wow. Well. Uh. Okay. Yeah, and now we can get out here and activate some of this stuff. Oh, oh gosh, that was close. Uh, nope, we're gonna start with. Uh, 
top, it seems. And then this one, maybe? And then this one? And then I accidentally called from a horse right there. Can you imagine if Jim Bob, Jim Bob hears the whistle? Dude would be there for us, I tell you that. Uh, but that doesn't actually... I need... I need to wait until I am back here. And frankly, I'm just gonna end up going up there and getting getting poked. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rocked by this stuff. It's too far away. Run! Run! <laughs> no, you can't even get up there. Uh oh. I'm feel I'm feeling like we're we're trying to sequence break at this point. I'm sure that I could also stasis this and then like hit it. Yeah, let's see if we can try that. Just to see if there's actually anything up there for us. Come on. Whew. Okay. So is that goopy eyeball gonna look at me or what? There you go. I just had to get closer to it. I really do not want to deal with this. Thank you. Hey, hey! Wow, that was. Man. Unusually elaborate. Looks like we got another power generator thingy here, though. Yeah, we got an elevator. Could have used that a while ago, tell you what. Uh, where does this go? And if the elevator is going up and down, we can give it a try. Boy, this was this was kind of a tough one. Like this was my my second one back when I was first. Oh no, I jumped off too early. Oh no, I can still get back up there. Okay, good. Where's the eyeball? There it is. You guys ever heard of Overkill? Yeah, like this epic flame sword with your name on it. There we go. Uh, okay, so this is just the tail. Things are progressing. I wouldn't say nicely, but they are progressing. Okay, so the next, looking at the map, it's in that room at this level, so I need to go in over to this other room and then drop down. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And that, that does not have power connected to it. Why not? It must have something to do with what we're gonna... Oh, there's a, there's a bad guy. But is it? Is it in this... Down there. Oh, well, that's encouraging. One, two. Oh, it's in there. All right. Have at thee. Oh, my goodness. No way. There we go. I don't, I don't even want your guardian swords, man. Oh, 
Hello there. Come on down. No, oh, you don't want to play? Okay. Now, this, we have to complete, we either have to drop balls on this to open it, or I feel like we could connect the circuit just using metal swords, but I don't even see that it has power anywhere yet, so hang on. Good news! I have information about your car's warranty. Ah, yes. Okay, so... What are we like? Battle axes. Yeah, they're only 30. Okay. They're not too terribly helpful. There are two terminals remaining. Stay focused. I'm trying. Um, one's like way out at the neck. Can I just like glide there? Does not look like it. Whoops. Um, Like, if I wanted to connect those things to power, where does that power come from? In here? Oh. Uh, come on now. I feel like I saw some crates up there that could be helpful for us. There's some, you know, metal metal boxes of some variety. Okay, drop. Nope. Called called the horse. Uh oh, no, it's just It's not super helpful for me, but Ancient screw. Help with upgrading some things later. Uh, Where would that ball go? Here we go. So look, see, it looks like this ball is like infused with power somehow. So maybe this will start the circuit. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we can do is Start meticulously dropping some things to connect all this, by golly. Yep, see, there you go. Forget how to just drop things from this. I don't want to throw it. Yeah. All right. Ugh. There's that other ball. I don't want to hassle with this if it's not easy to just drop these things in a row. Which it's seeming like it might not be. Um, yeah, we can't, we are literally not allowed to drop that thing. Oh, you know what I can do? Gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's just drop everything that's metal. And we'll use Magnesis to line it all up. My goodness. This thing's metal, right? Great flame blade? I mean, I guess maybe not. And I don't know that that's... Yeah, I guess I just don't know what is metal. Okay. Yeah, let's get you right there, please. Didn't work. 
Let's see. There we go. Well, nope. Definitely had it. Definitely sounded like we had it. Yep, shocked me. Good. Now, let's see what else we can do here. Can we get one of these big old spears? Yeah, we can. Good. Oh? I mean, maybe, maybe it's not, uh... Maybe the handle is wooden. Well, maybe. I'm gonna end up wasting all this time and not even having, like, enough metal stuff to do this. Then I'm gonna have to go find the other ball. Yeah, I am. Dang it. All right. There we go. We were able, we were able to touch it without actually getting homicided, so that's good. Okay, so we've got to find, there's another metal ball around here somewhere. We just have to find it. Coming down, there you go. Did I actually not get both the eyes here? Yeah, all right. My bad. Maybe, oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so we can climb up this. That thing is still spinning. Not sure what we're doing, but I'm, I'm on board. Not sure what this does. Are we moving that thing? Oh, oh, I see. Let's see here. We need to get. Nope. We need to get that up. And if we could also get this other one up. Oh, so once you get one of them up, it stays put. Okay. That's not too bad then. Too far. Good to have a neck elevator. Oh, yeah, it went too far. I oh, know. All right, okay. So we have to move it, yeah, this way. What a, what a fiasco. Man, when I first play this, played this, I sure as heck wish I would not have come to this one a <laughs> second after the elephant. Wish I would have gone to the bird or something. Nice and reasonably straightforward. Oh, come on. <laughs> now you're just trolling me, Naboris. You're trolling me. <sighs> Coming down. Great. Awesome. Really pretty. Huh. 
Okay. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. All right. Well, if you could tell me where the other little ball thing is, that'd be great. Um, Hmm. Or maybe there's some sort of other way. Yeah, see that is still yellow. Why is that still yellow? What can I do? It. Is there something that will activate that? not getting power over here. Well, maybe that's the, the terminus point. Yeah, that's getting power. Good. Um, I could use this if I have to. I mean, it's metal. Just be collecting metal things in here for a while. I'm I'm vaguely concerned. Let's see, it's not there's not like one like in here somewhere, is it? That one's got power already. Is it you? Hmm? Is it hiding in here? You got a big Oh my gosh. Good good throw, Link. Great job. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I swear. I know that if I had enough metal equipment, I could run a circuit from over there to over here and activate it. I don't have that many metal weapons on me, but there should be another ball somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, here, maybe, you know, this part started spinning, so I'll have the ability to climb back in here in a moment. Maybe there will be something more apparent to me now. Or maybe I need to disconnect the circuit. No, no, no. It won't, it won't be disconnecting the circuit. This, er, everything to this point has involved building up the circuits. I saw some yeah, still alive this stuff out here. I didn't realize I could go over this way. Is this helpful to me somehow? Not terribly. Yeah, more bomb arrows, okay. Might be helpful when dealing with Ganon. Assuming I ever get there. Real question at this point. all connected. Was it down here? Was this the the thing that was hanging on this rope? Was that the ball that I needed? Oh, you know what? That's what I should have done. Was retracted the tail and then I couldn't grab it with magnesis for some reason. Alright, well. Lesson learned. Is 
So, like, I'm not clear. If I leave to go farm some more metal weapons, am I... Oh, wait a second. What's down here? Oh, that's probably where I just came in. Um, is that... going to, like, reset my progress? I don't think so. But I don't rightly know. This is a conspicuous shape right here. I would think that maybe there is a ball that I could free, that I could, like, turn. Hmm. I could use that shape to get the ball up to the ceiling. This is just where I started. Is that, was there a ball down here that I missed? Hmm? Either side? Can I just glide off of this? If this, uh... Gerudo gal Toss me a hint or something that'd be great. I would appreciate it Hmm what can I do To get power up there, I mean it's it, I've just got I've got to find that other ball. I'm pretty confident That there was another ball I just don't know how to get to it. Is this my staircase? Is this is this what I need to use? Now I can use this thing as the staircase. Stand in this and just ride it. And we'll keep an eye out for secret entrances. Hmm? Anything in there? No? Alright. Hmm. So at least get me back to the ceiling. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. Got a little too impatient there. Darn it. Another important part of that, that second ball, wherever it is, is that I have to be able to get it to that room where I need the power, you know, somehow. Like, there has, there has to be a way to do it. I've been up there, it wasn't up there. Just ride this up again to see if I can get a good view. Or perhaps I need the neck to be down to get to the other ball. I mean, if nothing else, I can ride this to jump into that. Nothing good up here. All right, let's see. Oh, I saw that there was another room up. Does this go up twice and I've just been missing it? Can I maybe use Rivali's Gale to get up to that? other floor up above us there? 
Oh, no, it does go up. All right. Oh, my gosh. Are we serious? I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I choose not to discuss it. That's interesting. The the elevator goes up, sure, but it goes up again. Boy. All right. There we go. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Well done. That was the last of the terminals. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Hashtag. Take a good look at your map. Head for the glowing mark you see there. You're doing well, but overconfidence can be a deadly foe. Thanks, Ibosa. You know, that actually reminds me. Did I get the Guardian Helm thing? Did I get the, the Thunder Helm? Did she give me that to wear? No. Great. All right, so now I need to get... I don't even care if I get squished by this thing. By golly. I am so sick of this thing's heck. I'm hoping that my attack power is just so high that, you know, this, this thing won't really pose a whole lot of risk to me. Ganon, that is. <laughs> I'm hoping Ganon won't be too bad. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Uh, okay. So here, hang on, let's take a look. Try to get the old health up a little bit. Um, we've got our attack power already up quite a bit. Um, full recovery plus two hearts. Dubious food. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that at him. Here we go, electro steamed fruit. Five stars. Now nine stars, I guess, all total. I'm still not quite sure how that works. All right, we'll do that. There we go. I'm pretty confident that this guy has like shock stuff, if I remember correctly. He's like lightning themed. Let's do it. Let's get out the master sword, by golly. <sighs> this is a big weird room too. Okay. Thunder Blight Ganon. Stay on your edge, Link. This formidable adversary was made by Ganon and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow this to be your end. Fight for your life. And it's death. I'm trying. All right, first things, let's get. Bomb arrows back out. Let's equip our most powerful bow. Uh, fires multiple arrows at once, but that that like charges me multiple arrows at once, right? Like I don't want that. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Boy, howdy. Regenerates his shield. He's moving pretty fast. Let's do 
our food is already, or our health is already pretty far down. So let's do something plus some hearts. There we go, hearty mushroom skewer. stuck where am i stuck why why and how am i stuck he's dropping metal things from the ceiling i don't even see him where is he ah yes airborne of course come on now i dropped the guardian shield That's weird. What happened? Yeah, okay, so we still have it. I just dropped my shield. All right. Um, this is, so he's just gonna chuck electricity at us. Uh, arrows? my bow because of his shenanigans. Where'd he go? Where you at? I don't even like you, man. I'm not hurting him either. That is bad. Hang on. Come on. Thanks, Mipa. Appreciate it. Just missed. Get away from those things. Check another one at me. Find a way around that thing's shield. That is that is great advice, Hermosa. I that's the sort of thing that I really do appreciate. Did we do something to it? Heck yeah, we did. Chop through its sword. It's whatever. Shield. As though I were angry with its family. Oh, cool, cool. There we go. Stopped me last time. I never beat this guy. Thank goodness for Mipha's grace there. I was losing track of my hearts. Good. 
Another heart. I don't want to do any more exploration in here. I I bid you good riddance. Um, did I have any weapons still laying around? I mean, since I was using the Master Sword. Once I activate the main control unit, I will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. That is, oops, that is just fine. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Link. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free, and Noboros is ours once again. Which means that finally, we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. <laughs> as well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Hmm. <sighs> Area of effect, maybe? Both you and the princess. I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh, and also, take good care of Hyrule. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention, you know, the story with Zelda earlier kind of, I was so taken aback that she chose to wake Zelda up with a crack of lightning that we kind of ignored the fact there that like there was a discussion of how Zelda's magic or something to seal Ganon like she couldn't get the hang of it or she couldn't figure it out. Um, so we we haven't heard much about that even through some of the memories just yet, but we'll, we'll take a look at all those before I eventually face Ganon. music. Gonna sit down on top of this mountain. Be ready. Naboru, legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor her. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Naboru? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Gerudo. Mm. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. 
now I can take this personally. <laughs> Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. That moment is going to be so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Okay, cool. Good to get that done. Like, man, that... I remember that boss fight. It was just warping around everywhere. I... Man... There was nothing I could do. Gonna have to dress up, aren't I? Okay, Urbosa's Fury, a destructive power born from the unbridled anger of the champion Urbosa, summons a powerful lightning to the surrounding area. Trigger with a charge attack by holding Y. Interesting, okay. Everybody's gonna be standing here and just Do I still need to touch base with the princess or anything? Hang on. Yeah, make your way back to Gerudo Town. Okay, do I need to change? You guys are gonna stand here and just watch me change into my lady's clothing. There we go. And uh, this one, very nice. And some pants. Is this, is this it? Yeah. There we go. Hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you. Excellent security we have here, of course. Hmm. Man, it feels good to get that boss beaten. That boss turned me off to the whole game. Back in the day. Oh, you're back! Always so surprised. I'm glad you're okay. Truly, I am. Naboris is no longer a threat to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Naboris anymore. I want to offer you these as thanks for your help. I trust you'll accept them. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gerudo people. They were once worn by Lady Erbosa. Oh. <laughs> Since you and Lady Erbosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. I don't know if I would call us friends. There was a weird sort of tension and lots of lightning and stuff. It was uncomfortable. Can I just take this thing? Can I just steal it? Just grab it and run out the back? Let's see. Scimitar of the Seven, a famous sword once beloved by the Gerudo champion Erbosa. It's said that when Erbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. Yeah, inventory's that fine, uh, or full, that's fine. Let's see what the other one is. Daybreaker, this shield was cherished by the Gerudo champion Urbosa. The gold used to make it was handpicked to ensure design that is both lightweight and very durable. Nice. Okay, so I need to get rid of a shield. I'm not getting rid of my pot lid from day one, okay? I'm not doing it. We're, we're gonna drop this. Oh, and I need to drop a... Sword of some variety. This thing's nearly broken. You guys can have it. Congratulations. Yep, got the daybreaker. Good. And... We got her scimitar. That's awesome. Okay, great. So that, that basically concludes... That particular divine beast. Up next, we're going to head up here to uh, to uh, Goron City and figure out how we can conquer this lizard thing that's crawling around here. But first, I wanted to head back here to Terrytown to see who the next the, ne the next person is that they would be interested in. I don't know. I, I suspect it'll be one of the bird people. I, I don't know. Um, I'll just have to see what he says here. Man, I cannot, like... <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy to have finally beaten that thing. Like, that was... That was a real challenge for me. Like, I... I this this all kind of came out when I was... Uh, in the in a little bit of a break from gaming. Just due to some, some work stuff I had going on. And I just did not have um, time 
and it, it it had been a long time since I had uh, yeah found the Korok. You got it. Um, now I steal all your apples. Good day. I I just I hadn't had time to game before this uh, much, and then when it when it did come out, I could not get past that. I mean, that was when the Switch was was reasonably new, and I I just was not used to the controls and. I, I, oh man, I'm so like I literally stopped playing the game um, with you know kind of not being able to to beat Thunderblight Ganon. Uh, so man, it's it's like years in the making getting back here. So the town continues to grow. You'll recall that in the last episode we we started here, and it, we just had those two houses. Well, we got another house now, and it looks like we have another merchant here as well. Selling some clothes. What do we have? Desert Vaux trousers. Gerudo made trousers for men sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. Sapphire is used in their creation, which harnesses the power of ice to make heat more tolerable. Nice. Very cool. Okay, good. Good to have this. Now, Let's see who we're going to recruit next. This guy's probably going to ask me for wood, aren't you? Hey. You found someone from the Gerudo. Thank you. She was able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty, uh, amazing. <laughs> and since her name is Ronson, I have no objections. I hear she's decided to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. You should stop by and say hello. Well, next is... Before more people can move here, we need more homes uh, for them to live in. 30 bundles of wood? Are you serious? My goodness. All right. So I'm going to have to go chop down some trees with an axe, bring this guy some wood, and then he'll tell me uh, the, you know, the, the next person that he wants. It's probably going to be one of the bird people. Um, so, I mean, we've still got room for maybe one... Two more, two more houses, maybe? Maybe just the one. I, I don't know exactly what he's going to do. At any rate, um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave this one here. Next time, we're going to go deal with the lizard that's crawling around on that volcano back there. Uh, going to have to figure out probably some, some armor or something. that uh, I've, I've got armor that keeps me from bursting into flame uh, when you get too close to the volcano, so that's great. Um, but, uh, we'll, we'll just have to see. I'm, I'm probably off, uh, off recording or off stream, whatever the case is here. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go gather up the wood for this guy and see who it is that he's looking for next so we can kind of continue building Terrytown here. So, uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I certainly am. I cannot tell you how happy I am <laughs> to... Have, uh, have finally beaten that Ganon. And it's such a stupid thing, you know? Like, I just, I could not get past that particular boss. And I didn't have a lot of time to dedicate to it, etc., etc. You know, excuse after excuse. But, like, it really, I, I literally stopped playing the game. And uh, I'm glad that I was able to get back to it. Even, even if it is, you know, five years later, whatever the case is. So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this. And, of course, thanks for watching.